Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you so much for joining us for our Friday weather update for February the 10th. And all eyes are on tropical cyclone Gabriel in the Coral Sea. Today's video is a little different because uh, I'm traveling so I can't be on screen, but we are going to have special video updates across this coming weekend. So as you can see, the cyclone is in the Coral Sea, category three at the moment, but down over New Zealand, there's a large area of high pressure. That high is going to be the controlling feature for this storm as it moves in. On the satellite map, you can clearly see the storm spinning in the Coral Sea. If you take a look at the Tasman Sea, you'll see the yellow and blue cloud. That is heading towards the country. The outer bands of the storm will start to be noticed as high cloud around the upper North Island later on Friday. And as we go through Saturday, that cloud will thicken up. Here's the latest tracking and intensity from the Bureau of Meteorology. You can see it's category three at the moment and it remains that way uh, for at least another day or so, then it drops to category two as it moves in towards the New Zealand area. Now notice how it suddenly switches from a two to an L. That's the moment it goes from a tropical cyclone to an extra tropical cyclone. So it doesn't have a category rating anymore, but it will keep that category two equivalence as it moves into the New Zealand area. Here we are on Sunday morning, four o'clock in the morning with the center of Tropical Cyclone Gabriel smack bang over the top of Norfolk Island and the capital Kingston. So that is a, a serious storm event for Norfolk Island, uh, obviously Australian territory there. Now as we move into the New Zealand zone, take a look at the rainfall here. This is the rain accumulation map. Don't focus so much on New Zealand itself, more on that line coming down from the tropics, the purple line with the blue in the middle of it. That's the area with the heavy rain and that blue in the middle indicates rainfall of up to 300 millimeters or more. So that impacts the top part of the North Island and the eastern side at this stage. Uh, rainfall totals are between 100 and 300 millimeters, but you can take a look at our app, ruralweather.co.nz, uh, sorry, our website or our app, our Weather Watch app, and you can see those rainfall totals uh, that we're forecasting. And of course, the Met Service warnings, which are going to be issued in the coming days, uh, if they aren't already issued by the time you're watching this. So here is the forecast for Saturday. The big high pressure zone just moving out to the Chatham Islands, the storm in the north getting closer, and in between the two, we've got a bit of a nor'east flow for the top of the country and a few mostly unrelated showers. By Sunday, the storm moves closer and now we're seeing severe weather risks spread over the top half of the North Island. Uh, windy east to northeast winds turning east to southeast maybe later on. There'll be gale force at times and the rain will be starting to set in. It may not be severe for everyone. This weather is going to gradually increase and you'll also notice the rain in the nor'east is sliding down the eastern side of the North Island as well. Mostly settled at the lower end of the South Island and it remains that way for Monday too. But on Monday, this is when the storm gets closer. Now notice the high pressure zone around the Chathams has sunk further down into the Southern Ocean. If it keeps doing that, the storm in the North has a chance of kind of tracking by to the very North of New Zealand, but it's not really showing up in most of the modeling because as you see here on Tuesday, that high pressure zone to the East is actually getting a bit stronger and that is pushing the low pressure zone into New Zealand. So even though the center is offshore, the bulk of the severe weather is actually over the North Island in this uh, scenario here. Now this could still change. This is the ECM WF model. The American model still shows the center of that storm over Auckland, which would be worse. But having this further east doesn't change a lot of the severe weather for many places. So that's the reason why you're seeing a lot of talk about this storm. The other bit of news at the bottom end of the country, a cold front on Tuesday won't be doing much, but it's a bit of an indicator that there's a southerly change coming through. You'll see that on Wednesday in Southland, but the storm just off the coast of East Cape and Gisborne, uh, we expect, and like I say, that could still wiggle around a couple of hundred kilometers west or east or even north and south to where we are forecasting nearly a week from now. But that is looking like a fairly serious storm event as it moves through, and then by Thursday, it's gone, it's down to the Southern Ocean. We've got southwesters and showers across the country and that big high pressure zone out to the west, that is likely to bring some pretty calm weather conditions.
Before I go, just a quick update on some important links. Uh, we recommend that you follow LERT.info. That's their website, LERT.info. You can get all the emergency information sent straight to you via text uh, or via email. You can sign up to their services. They've got paid and free services, and we really do recommend them. Uh, other links to keep up to date with over the next few days, please stay informed with your local council and civil defence and NEMA as well. Keep up to date with all MET service watches and warnings. For news videos and maps, rainfall accumulation and wind gusts, go to weatherwatch.co.nz and ruralweather.co.nz is really good for those hyperlocal graphs and the detailed data for those of you who really want to drill down deeper. That is all from me. We're back again on Saturday. We're going to have a special update later in the day on Saturday and we'll have an update again on Sunday as well. Thanks for all the support. Stay safe and we'll talk soon.